Yo, welcome back to Chef E's Test Kitchen, everybody. Today it's chilly, it's cloudy, and the only thing I got on my mind right now is chocolate chip cookies. But not your grandma's chocolate chip cookies, everybody. We're gonna brown the butter, and I'm gonna take a smoking gun, which I'll show you here in a moment. I'm gonna smoke some white chocolate chips. So get a pot of coffee on, get a cup of milk in the freezer, do whatever it takes to get ready for these delicious cookies coming your way. Let's do some baking. Here we go, guys. Smoked white chocolate chip, brown butter cookies. Let's roll with this. This is the Breville Smoking Gun. All right, it has a built-in bowl with a screen on the bottom. You put your wood chips right in there. This thing is amazing. Now, you guys, if you don't have this at home, what I'm gonna tell you to do is take a regular saute pan, okay? If you have an induction burner, your burner on your stove at home, whatever it is, Get some wood chips. If you have plain wood chips, if you have wood pellets, pellets are a little trickier, okay? You gotta be careful with the pellets because what's gonna happen is they're gonna burn. You're gonna get a really funky scent to your, to your whatever you're smoking, your chocolate chips in this case, okay? So careful with pellets. Something like this, get this going, get it enough just to smoke, put it in a pan, all right? Once we got that in a pan, I wanna take a piece of foil. So that's smoking, okay? Let's say those are smoking right now. You got your piece of foil, cover it up, make a little indentation in there. Take one of your cheap knives that you don't mind using on foil. Give a couple holes. Be careful when you do this to make sure that you don't do so many holes that when you put the chocolate chips in there, it falls right through and then you're just cooking your chocolate chips. That's no good. Take these, drop them in there. Your smoke's coming out. All right, hit a piece of foil. Sorry, plastic. <laughs> Put some plastic on top, let it roll. This is in case you don't have one of these. You got one of these, it's easy money, baby. What I got in there is I got cherry wood and I got some applewood chips in there. Now these chips, a little different than normal. All right, they're, they're cut down to fit into here to make sense for how this particular machine works. So, get your lighter, light it up, turn on the hose, and boom baby, we got smoke, all right? It's easy as that. So I'm getting a little bit of apple and cherry smoke in there. All that flavor is hitting into those wood chips, going straight into the chocolate chips. I'm just going to do it for about 30, 45 seconds. I'm gonna turn it off, and what I'll do is I'll take the plastic, cover it, let it sit for about 20 minutes just to take all that flavor in as much as possible. Next, we're gonna brown the butter. Stick with me. Okay guys, our butter has been browned, nice and beautiful. I've let it sit at room temperature, kind of come together a little bit, coagulate. It's still soft, it's still a little bit runny, but it's not completely hot as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna get all of that 
brown butter particles out of there. So what that is, the milk solids that are in the butter will brown. That's what gives you that nice brown color, beautiful nutty flavor. It's just absolutely delicious. Adds a whole nother level of flavor and taste to your cookies. So we're gonna keep this near, all right. I'm gonna add in my brown sugar, my regular sugar, lock it up. Let's get this cream in. Okay, while this creams, we're gonna go ahead and sift out our flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, baking soda. Put that all together and we get ready to add that into this. Once we're ready to go, it's nice and creamed. We get our eggs and vanilla in there. All right, everybody, I got the brown butter and the sugar in the blender going right now. What I want to do while that is getting all mixed up nice together and creaming. All right, I want to do two different things here to get my cookies rolling along. I have two different types of flours that I'm using. I'm using a cake flour. It's going to make them a little fluffier than normal, more than a dense cookie than I could say. Then I'm going to have a little bit of an all-purpose flour, okay? And here I have kosher salt, Spiceology cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of baking soda, okay? White chocolate chips. First, I'm gonna do these. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of each at a time, and I wanna sift it through. Sifting this through is just gonna help the cookies refine it, make it a little fluffier. Uh, just gonna bake much, much better if you don't sift the flour. It's not that much of a, you see a difference for sure, but I prefer to sift the flour. You have a bigger screen, you're gonna get through a lot faster than I am working with what I got. And that's the thing guys, work with what you got, all right? If you don't have something at home, if you don't have a screen, if you don't have something to sift, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine, you'll be all good to go. You're still gonna have amazing cookies, you're still gonna be happy. Use your hand, tap on the side like that. It's gonna help it come out a little bit faster, nice little trick. A little tappy tap, tap it out. Just tap it out, okay? Get a little bit left in the bottom there. Use your fingers, push it through. Okay, I'm gonna add in all my spices, all my salt. And keep adding in the other flowers as well. We're gonna sift all this. One important thing, guys. While this is going, you wanna stop it halfway through as it starts to look like it's creaming up nice. And scrape your edges. Scrape the bottoms, okay? Get everything moved around. minutes at medium to high speed. You ready to add in the eggs? Okay now that you can see it's nice and fluffy. Add my eggs in one at a time. Let it incorporate in there. Okay, I want to stop it. I'm going to open it, scrape the sides again. I like to scrape between each egg. Again, make sure everything's gonna get incorporated into that dough. Now I'm doing a large batch here because it's about love right now. I'm sending out that love to your friends, your family, your neighbors. Alright? Add one more. Let's go two. Quick win. Let's stop it. Okay. Great. And this dough is coming together really nice. Great. I'll hit it for another 20 seconds or so here. Now that I have a flour in here, I'm ready to go. Butter coming along. Move up the speed a little bit. Okay. 
going to add these white chocolate chips to my little mini food processor. If you have a food processor at home, that works great. If you don't, use a plastic bag, beat the hell out of it with a rolling pin, a back end of a knife, uh, whatever makes sense, a pot. You find some big pieces like this, just come along, break them apart with your hand. Hey you guys, how are we doing out there? It's time to add the flour into this beauty right here. So, we've already sifted the flour onto our foil. All right, that's gonna be a little easier for us to add it in here. And very low, use the flour kind of like a funnel. Go ahead and start to add that in, okay? Starts making a mess, slow it down. A little bit at a time. The best part of baking. The mess. Okay. Rush that in there. All right, you guys, check it out. We got our dough nicely mixed together so far. All right, finishing it off by hand here. What we're gonna do now, chocolate chips. These beautiful white chocolate chips we smelled earlier. Okay, finish this off by hand. You see there's still some dry in the bottom. The reason I keep it like that is because I don't want to over blend it. I like to work with my hands. I'm old school. Okay. Some people like to freeze their cookies before you bake them off. It's actually a great technique. Keeps them from spreading, keeps them thicker and cakier. Cakier. That's not a good word, cakier. Alright. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop and then I'm gonna freeze. So that's a nice big fat cookie. to a tray of this size. But, you know, it's all the most important thing is that your milk cookie ratio, when you're sitting down to eat these bad boys, is spot on. That's the most important. those on my tray. I'm gonna put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. I got the cookies out of the oven. Man, they had fire. I'm talking fire, people. Look at those. 